All right, welcome back. We continue. So, I don't know if you can see this. I'll try to get you close. I don't know if you can see that, but um, there's some divots. Like the frets are all like flattened out in areas. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. Come here, you. So I'm gonna try to crown. I'm gonna roll off the the edges. And I'm gonna try to buff these out. And I have a few tactics I'm gonna be using. First, we have to make the neck perfectly straight. So we have to switch. Oh, hey, look at that. There's no strings on. Oh. Not straight yet. There we go. I'm gonna make it straight because I'm gonna be filing down the entire length of the neck. Not filing down. Well, I do have files. I was terrified to put these things on. I am I am very nervous to go at it with this, but so here I'm gonna take out this and set it right like that. Put tape down in between each uh, on each fret, just leaving the fret. Sorry, you put tape down on on what is that, in between frets? What's in between the, the Leaving the fret, frets exposed, is that how you say it? Sure, that's how you say it. Why not? And you tape over the electronics just so dust uh, particles or metal shavings don't get in there. And again, I've never done this, so I'm probably going to take too long and it's my first time be gentle. So I'm going to do this and I'll come back to you. All right, that's done. You know, it started off all easy up here and down here was really irritating. So <clears throat> the next thing we're going to do is get your trusty Sharpie. And we're going to draw on all the frets. I saw people doing this. I thought of they don't remember um, or as a kid, dentist would give you like a pill to you know chew up and you get to see what how poorly you brushed and you gotta brush and brush and brush until you get that shit off your teeth. This is what this reminds me of because the following step is to sand it. So all this is gone or it shows you um, when you rubbed it off. Huh. But yeah, there, uh, I never, this is really the first car I really uh, like looked at and toyed with and I've never noticed like frets that are flat and um, there's a lot of them and I thought it was my problem until I saw some videos and then, oh, it's just a thing you do. So I'm going to sand it and then I might have to crown it or, or re-round it. I don't know if crown is the right term, but re-round re it if, I, if it goes flat. So um, that's what I got a file for. And I might have done this in the wrong order, but then I'm going to smooth out the edges. Uh, but we'll see. Um, so several different videos. I like how up here where I don't play because I don't play solos, uh, it, they're completely fine. So several different videos on, on techniques to do this. I'm kind of doing a combo of a few, which either overlapped like the marker not everyone used the marker i'm new it's my first time so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna do it and uh you know if you're screaming at me in the comments uh tell me your opinion without you know in a nice polite way without saying i don't do anything wrong so probably am so it's, it's flat i have a um i don't know I'm sure there's a technical term for it sanding bar with 400 grit, uh, 600, 1,000, and 1,200. So 
I'm gonna start with four. Oh, wait. oh, that you're screaming. I caught it. Also, tape over the pickups. Man, I would have, I would have, I would have been mad at myself for that one. You don't want any uh, metal shavings getting in this stuff. Oh, I felt like a fool. That would just been a uh, you know learning curve. Like, well, my guitar doesn't work now. I don't know about the 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 controls. Sorry, my my camera's. But the um the, the pots, I'm not gonna tape over them. Don't know why. Uh, anyway, so I'm gonna start. I'm gonna with 400, the roughest, and just even. I saw not too much pressure is what I saw. Let me try not to bump into the nut. So here we go. Looking better. Let me see it in now the blue tape kind of looks dusty. Um I'm gonna go to six hundred. I'm going to do this down here a little more. These are looking worlds better. Worlds better. Still little notches. Need to, they're not flat, but the notches are gone. They were bugging me. Oh, this down here, down to the no man's land, you know, where money's not made. <laughs> That's still looking shady. Uh, all right, I'm gonna 400 grit that down there because I just can't see it off. Oh, because I did the sides, that's why. Well. Let's see what I can do, what damage I can do with this thing. I don't have any um, like fret polisher. I probably should have uh, had some like that. Oh yeah, I definitely need some fret polisher. I'm gonna do that wrong. I don't know. Maybe I won't do that. Oh, let's not do that. You know, I saw actual like guitar tools where the file had a groove for the for the uh, old fret. Because you know, why learn using the right tools when you can learn using random tools? Um, you know, and do some damage. Right, right. My dad always said. Why well, learn correctly when you can just break shit? He never said that. Okay, but the um, the divots, that one still has some, but the divots are way better. Because you're really happy with that. Very happy with that. So now, the edge is kind of bumpy. And. When I watch this, you want to get the frets 
if you get the wood then this they'll expose more frets so again i'm going to start with 400 grit maybe and i'm just gonna I mean, this is the one where it's light pressure and just back and forth i don't know that's smoother actually yeah that's smoother i'm doing very light pressure now 600 grit i'm going at a kind of an angle maybe a 45 degree angle maybe a 47 degree angle because i'm just they're not terrible again i actually like this guitar a lot but they are definitely smoother with a little touch-up you can hear it Or something else it's a lot better it's a lot better you didn't even need that stuff all right um yeah i think that's all i'm gonna do tonight on it i'm very pleased with that though probably not the best but you're looking to my layman's eyes okay you're rounded i mean you know those divots anymore in them so yeah I feel like it's a torture victim saying, please no more, please no more. But I'm having fun. All right, till next time.